Hi guys, I'm Shazad and uh, welcome in this video. Today's we're gonna discuss about the Bootstrap 5. Like how can you download, install and also the configure Bootstrap 5 in your applications or in your page. So you have several ways to download or to add the Bootstrap 5. The first one, you have to download the physical files from the official website of the Bootstrap and you have to use those particular files by defining in your project. They have two separate files. One is a CSS, one is a JS files. So you know very well about it that how can you add a CSS file in your project or how can you add the JS file in your project. You may have two JS files. So this is the first way to embed the Bootstrap 5. The second way you have to download the Bootstrap file by using the composer. Make sure composer is a dependency manager. You have to download the composer and once you download the composer, uh, the code is defined in the documentations. Use that particular command to download the source code or the Bootstrap files out of the box. So this is the second way to download the Bootstrap file. Once you download it, then you have to use or embed the CSS and also the JS files. So the third way to embed the Bootstrap is very simple you have the CDNs, that means content delivery networks. We always use a CDN in the production version. You have two links or three links available there. Just copy the link and add the links in your header and also the footer. That's it, you are ready to go. Make sure before using the JS file, you have to embed the jQuery file at the top of your page. Like if you're defining the jQuery file in your footer, so you have the top, you have to define the jQuery file, then you have to use the JS file which comes with the Bootstrap file. So how can you do that? Let's get started. Okay guys, so now if you go to the Google or simply type get bootstrap.com. So this is the official website of the Bootstrap. So they have the latest version of the Bootstrap. So now if you click on the doc and how can you download, click on the download section. So as you can see, you have a compiled CSS and JS file. You have three ways to download, install and also configure the Bootstrap 5. First way is to download the CSS and JS files. Fine. The second way you can also use the CDN. The third way you can use the package manager or the dependency manager. So they definitely have the composer. As you can see, this is a composer. We're going to use the composer to download the Bootstrap 5. And we're going to also discuss that how can you download the source file and attach or use the source files in your project. Or even how can you use the CDN, which is a content delivery network. So let's take the example. So this is the compile CSS and JS file. We're gonna click on the download button to download these files. I'm going to keep this file in my download section. 5.2.2 is the version of the bootstrap. For now, now you know very well that we have already discussed that I'm gonna use the PHP storm. PHP store with a text editor so we can use this text editor smoothly. It depends on your requirements or your need or your size. If you are using the sublime or any kind of text editor, it's up to you. So I'm gonna use the PHP storm to write the HTML CSS and also the JavaScript or the jQuery stuff. If you find the JetBrains, so where you can download the PHP storm. Type the JetBrains, as you can see, they are providing the best tools for you. Go to the developer tools, as you can see, this is the PHP store. So as you can see, they, they're going to give you 13 days free trial. You can have the 13 days free trial by clicking this button. Just click on this one, download this software and use this software or the IDE. Let's suppose if you are using the Sublime, then it's up to you. Make sure this is not the free, it's a paid tool so you have to pay some dollars if you are a student or a teacher you can contact with them and they will provide you the 
one year free license okay now i have just opened this one so i'm gonna create a folder so we can keep all the files there first of all folder as you can see i have only a single directory i have installed my xam so if you are not familiar with the xam don't worry it's just a directory so i'm going to create a directory i'm saying go to step file fine and now i'm going to cut this setup which we have just downloaded paste the setup here now you have few choices double click drag and drop make sure you have to install the vendor which is a software for the compressed file fine now you can also right click and also open with the winrar or click on the right click extract file here i'm saying extract now i am going to rewrite this one i'm saying go to strip fine so if you open these files now as you can see they have a css files a lot of css file there they also have the js file a lot of js file here so you have to add the bootstrap.mins file this is the minimum file and also you cannot use the bootstrap file similarly go to the js you also have the bootstrap.min.js file and also the bootstrap.js file now here i'm going to create i'm going to open this project so open as you can see this is the bootstrap file which we have just created i'm going to create a file new file and i'm saying this is the html file i'm saying let's suppose index file so here i'm saying go to step 5 okay now i'm saying how can you add the files you can add the css and js file i'm saying link real style shift href i'm saying go to the bootstrap folder and go to the css folder and find the bootstrap bootstrap.css file or bootstrap.min.css file so here you can add the js files Go to the bootstrap js and find bootstrap.js file. So, how can you ensure that it's working or not? Just use the class button button primary. So, now run this index file. As you can see, If I say button, fetch the page, as you can see, it's working fine. How can you ensure that it's working fine or not? Right click and uh, inspect element. As you can see, console is fine. But what happens if you give the wrong name of the file? Let's suppose. And definitely it will give you the error. As you can see, it's saying. 404 not found so give the wrong name of the js file also it will give you the error so now it's looking fine since we use the jquery code so that's why we have to embed the jquery so i'm saying jquery jquery cdn go to the official website of the jquery and embed the jquery file here i'm also checking that either the jquery is available here or not bootstrap okay fine you can also use the compressed or uncompressed version i'm saying minified version copy the link 
paste the link above the Google Square file. Go to the page and refresh the page. It's fine. You have successfully embedded the jQuery and after that you can embed the JS files. So this is the first way to embed the JS files. What happens if you are not embedding these files? As you can see, now it's not working. So this is the first way to embed the JS files. And the second way, you can use the CDN. We're going to discuss about the composer, so don't worry about it. What you need, just copy this link, paste the link here. This is the JS file. So copy this one and paste this one. Now, as you can see, if you are using a compiled JavaScript, prefer to include the proper. Fine. If you are using the compiled JS, then definitely you have to use the proper one. So once again, go to the page, refresh the page. As you can see, it's now working fine. So since you have just used the CDN here, here. So this is the second way to add the bootstrap file. The third way you can, as you can see, you have a dependency manager. If you're using the Ruby jam, you can use this syntax or the code. If you are using the yen, you can use this syntax. We're going to use the composer. Okay, guys. So now, as you can see, go to the CMD and find or write the composer so once you install the composer and if you are writing the composer in your cmd you will have this screen like this fine so now how can you do that just go to the google and write the composer as you can see this is the official website of the composer so at the right side as you can see they are saying composer is a dependency manager so now here if you go to the package manager, you have the composer syntax there. So go to the composer website. As you can see, they have the download button here. Just click on the download button. They have a exe file. So just click on the exe file, download the exe file, and then install your software in your machine. Once you install your software in your machines, then you are ready to go. As you can see, once you install, just go to the CMD and write the composer. You will have the screen like this. So now I'm going to install the Bootstrap 5 by using the composer. Fine. So now I'm going to my directory. As you know, we have installed or we have created the folder in our example. So now as you can see, we already have the bootstrap file. So you need the code to run the bootstrap setup by using the composer. As you can see, this is the syntax. So copy this syntax, paste this syntax in your composer. So you can also copy like this. Copy paste hit the enter button and then you are ready to go wait for a few seconds because it takes time to download and install the setup for you since i have not updated the composer after a while now wait for a few seconds it's about to start now it's starting. It's now downloading the related file out of the box for you. So now as you can see, you have a vendor folder. So open this folder and you will have the several files available there. So now here, as you can see, these are the folders available here. Just open this folder. You have the bootstrap and uh, you have the JS folder there. As you can see, these are the JS files. And you also have 
the CSS folder. Okay guys, so these are the ways available to download, install and also the configure Bootstrap 5 in your project. So I hope guys you are enjoying our video. So thank you for watching.